What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about virtual production, what it means for you as an artist. So when we hear about virtual production, oftentimes we're hearing about the actual technology behind virtual production. We hear about these LED walls, we hear about how great it's been for production, but we don't really hear about what does it mean to be a virtual production artist? What, what does that look like? What, what are we doing day to day? What sort of skill sets do you need? As well as what does the job market look like? What are the opportunities out there in virtual production as well as where it's headed? So in order to begin on this subject, I think it's important to actually define what virtual production is from an artist standpoint. So virtual production, the way that I usually define it is a tool for collaboration. It's a way in which we're able to bring the production and the art department together and bridge them as a mitigating uh, entity being called the VAD, the Virtual Art Department. It's a way to essentially unify uh, more deeply these two facets of production, oftentimes more, you know, uh, uh, production, uh, the art department, visual effects, previs. It's essentially an amalgamation of all these departments in one where we're able to plan out and further develop sets within pre-production uh, for a better, you know, outcome when we get into production and post. And so as far as being an artist within virtual production, uh, some of the skill sets which uh, which are going to be required, which studios would be looking for, would be, of course, Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is a huge tool that we use on our day-to-day. -day. Uh, it's going to be the bread and butter program that we're using uh, most often. So first of all, having an adept knowledge and understanding within Unreal Engine uh, is a great, great starting point. From there, oftentimes I get asked questions such as, do I need to know how to model? Do I need to know how to texture, sculpt, and all these various things? What I would say is the more you know, the better it's gonna ultimately be as far as you know your outcome in the job market, the job market, right? You know, ultimately studios wanna want someone that can do as much as they possibly can, uh, so that they can, you know, you can be utilized in multiple areas. Oftentimes within virtual production, uh, we're uh, you're sort of going in between various aspects of development. You know, on one project, uh, I've done everything from props, textures, to lighting, uh, look development, set dressing, all for one project. So very rarely are you sort of pigeonholed into doing one specific thing until you get to perhaps a specialist sort of level, such as a lighting director, art director, um, you know, lead, uh, lead it, environment artist, lead types, things like that. Uh, then you begin to get more specialized. However, starting out, uh, it is fairly general. Um, and so having a general knowledge of some of these various softwares, such as a modeling software, things like 3ds Max, Blender, Maya, uh, Cinema 4D, really whatever works for you is going to work. Uh, it's learning a specific program outside of Unreal Engine isn't often a requirement. A studio might say, you know, Maya is a plus. However, if you are very adept at, let's say, Blender, it's not really gonna make a difference to them. As long as you know how to do the work, that's what matters. Uh, from there, you know, there's also programs such as ZBrush, Substance Painter. You can even get really specialized into, you know, Speed Tree, uh, Marvelous Designer, and things like that. Uh, Embergen, Terrigen, Terrigen, Terrigen Skies, the new Terrigen uh, Skies that they have. So there are so many programs out there to learn. The basis though would be Unreal Engine and a modeling software. Uh, that would be pretty much where to start. And then from there, the question would be, okay, I know these programs, you know, I understand Unreal Engine, I've been doing some modeling. Uh, as far as what, what do these studios wanna see? What do they wanna see out of me so that I can have the best possible opportunity um, to get a job within virtual production. So some things to keep out for is a when you're showcasing portfolios, my suggestion would be to create breakdowns of your environments, starting from showing a piece of concept art to then what did, what did your block out look like? What were some of the steps within the development of your set? As well as, of course, what is the final outcome, right? Uh, when you're working in virtual production, oftentimes you are working from concept. Uh, oftentimes the client is going to provide concepts, say this is, you know, this is the scene we're doing, this is the environment we're going for, 
and it's up to us to build it as well as sort of fill in some of those details that might be be lost so uh so starting from a piece of concept art and showing that you could take something from concept and bring it all the way through and show that process is going to be huge in within your portfolio and it's going to show a a studio that you can do exactly what it is that they're looking for you can take a concept you can bring it to final now whether it's starting out as an associate level senior level mid whatever level you're at um you know of of course things you know get, get a little bit more detailed within your breakdowns um you know the the sort of quality of it uh, the thing is right now because of unreal engine and how beautiful lumen is path tracing we have nanite uh, we have all these great tools and resources as well you know youtube has a million videos uh for example but there's all these great tools great assets and so it's becoming easier and easier to create just good looking environments uh you know it's it it's it's becoming easier and easier to create those beautiful renders so it's becoming more and more important for studios to see okay well i see now that there's a lot of beautiful renders out there there's clearly a lot of artists which one knows how to do what we need them to do and virtual production fits somewhere between the visual effects pipeline and the games pipeline oftentimes visual effects studios will look for right now will look for people from visual effects or from games and essentially look to adapt them into virtual production sort of bridge the gap so if you're in one of those departments it's going to be a little bit easier considering the background there's something they're going to be looking for however as virtual production grows and becomes a larger and larger facet within the industry uh, it'll become um, easier the actual facet of being a virtual production artist will be an aspect which is going to grow and so being able to establish yourself as a virtual production artist is going to be a really great boost when looking for these jobs uh, the other thing another tip that i would give would be looking for the actual schematics of some of these volume stages uh, a lot of them actually have the dimensions on their websites and you can create a sort of rough volume wall asset for unreal engine you could just model it really quickly uh, to you know rough specifications and learn how to build environments sort of outside the wall these are things which i teach within my my classes um, uh, and it's it becomes very valuable to learn how how do we build environments for a specifically sized space and so that's just another tip that uh, that i would give as well as far as opportunities within virtual production studios continually uh continually pop up there's more and more studios that are growing and expanding some established studios are adapting virtual production into their studio pipeline and so the opportunity within virtual production is really expanding it's really booming right now uh, and you know it's again it's one of those markets where um where there's not there's not as many people that specialize in virtual production so what i would say is become a, you know work on becoming a great generalist within unreal engine work on developing environments that'll work for a volume and show the breakdowns once you have these three pieces placed you are establishing yourself not just as a game artist not as a visual effects artist but as a virtual production artist so i hope that this video illuminated a few questions that are commonly asked uh, surrounding virtual production as far as uh, what does it mean for an artist and how do we you know how do you get a job at a virtual production studio what are they looking for what are some of the requirements uh, i'll be posting more videos about virtual production in the future as well as environment building specifically for virtual production so i hope you guys stay tuned subscribe and i look forward to seeing you guys there